today and we're going to have a game of Nigel Mantle's World Championship or World Champion whatever it's called um, for the Amstrad TPC yeah World Champion um, originally played this on the Commodore Amiga which was alright weren't one of the best racing games I've ever played powered by Renault that's interesting because that's when Williams Renault was one of the best teams back in 1992 when he won his World Championship um, I remember that, uh, so we'll wait for it to load. I, as I say, I never played the Amstrad version. Um, so yeah, as I say, I wasn't a big fan of this, really. Um, but this is late for the Amstrad CPC. Um, well, I'll say late. It wasn't late, but it was a late a game for the Amstrad CPC. Um, I didn't even know this existed until I watched um, Zypho's review on this. Um, we go through the menu here, so I want to make sure I'm playing with keys. I don't want to use the joystick if I can. Yep, QAOP, that's a nice um, configuration. I, enjoy, I like that configuration. Um, so, okay. Yeah, mm, I know I'm not going to expect much from the Amstrad CPC, as I say, I have seen a review on it. It didn't look too good, to be honest with you, but I want to give it a go for myself. Um, uh, Zypho did a terrific review on this, like he always does on his reviews. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel already, worth checking out. Great, great reviewer. Um, yeah, so I thought, yeah, I had this for the Amiga, fuck it, I've got to give this a go for the Amstrad. I'm not, I'm not going to expect much. Um, so what track? I think I'm going to choose Germany because I remember that track. I know it's supposed to be the British Grand Prix today, but I thought, fuck it. I know Germany's a nice, fast track, so, you know, it's going to be easier for me to play because there's not many corners. <laughs> so I don't want really want to fucking choose the likes of Monaco. Um, I don't know, I like the fast tracks. So here we go, we get to tune, tune our car if we want to. What should we do? Should we have a look at keep them on hard maybe because the durability will be longer so we've got to change the wing to shallow so we get more less downforce rather so the car goes faster in a straight line gear ratios do i really need to change that maybe i should but i want it on automatic because i don't be, want to be asked changing fucking gear in this so i'll try and keep on automatic if i can um oh no now we've got to switch it over Okay. Yeah, it does pause the emulation when you switch the discs over. Um, so that's a good thing. So don't don't get much recording or taking your time switching the disc over, which is good. Um, so loading, please wait. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, loading please wait, how long does it fucking take? Well this is a disc emulation so, and I believe it's the, it is the 128K, I don't think this worked on 64K, so this was made for the CPC 664, or no, 6128 rather, here we go. Change the lights and here we go. Ah, oh fucking hell. Yeah, not impressed really with this. The, Frame rate's very, very, very jumpy jerky. Um, I mean, it would look pretty fast if it was more smoother, but I think they've put too much graphics in, making the, um, you know, making it a little bit slower, so the frame rate's very jumpy jerky. Really, mm, I don't really think this is a proper Monica, uh, not a German Grand Prix. This too many corners in it for a start and not enough long straights um, well this is a long straight but the corners just come at you um, mm, so they haven't stuck truthfully to the original tracks I don't think um, I don't think they did with the Amiga version either um, yeah it's not the greatest game racing game I played on the Amstrad CPC I have to say the first Nigel Mansell game was better than this. Um, there was a lot more colour. Um, this is done in mode one, so that is going to make it a little bit more slower. 
plan, higher resolution. And I could have chosen, well, I suppose the blue looks pretty nice, but there's too much blue. <laughs> could have, you know, there's two shades, I could see three shades of blue there. I think they've used too much blue and obviously the white. Um, fucking hard this game. It's not a very enjoyable game to play to be honest with you. And I hit something I didn't even recall hitting anything. I didn't see I hit anything, so the collision detection is a bit shitty there. Um Ah fucking hell. Uh, as I say it was a lot better racing games for the Amstrad. Even the old um Ah, what did I hit? I hit fucking nothing, did I? I fucking hit nothing and it's still and it takes you right down to first gear, what well, it did in the Amiga version and all, so I didn't really like that. It was alright, but there was way more better games, and racing games on the Amiga as well. Formula One Grand Prix, that was probably one of the best I've ever played. But this, oh, it's not great at all. It's not, you know, as I say, the frame rate's jumpy jerky, collision detection's way off. I mean, I didn't even hit nothing there. I was just coming off the track, but I didn't hit nothing. Um, so I'm on my last lap now. Um, ah, fucking hell. So, mm, the track, ah, oh, fucking hell. The track looks very narrow when the cars come up. Fucking hell. Look, just, uh, yeah, Formula One Simulator by Master Tronic. That was a brilliant game, and that was an older game. Um, Graphics look much better on that, I think. I mean, the graphics don't look bad on this, but they could have done maybe got away with it in mode zero. I feel added a few more colours, um, made the frame rate smoother, and it would have been a, a better game, in my opinion. Um, the hell was that? Um, weren't the game, I know that, it was something outside, but nah. Look at it, fucking hell. As we've finished this, um, well, there's a map up there. So uh, I don't know. It just didn't feel, didn't feel any good. Um, as I say, I played much better racing games on the Amstrad, and so now we've got to fuck about with um, discs again. Uh, so we've got to put this one back in. And bear with me. Oh fucking hell, now we set the fucking computer. Anyone gonna end this review? Thank you for watching, goodbye.